My name's Nick, I'm with Sunshine State RVs in sunny Gainesville, Florida. We are the number one Class B dealer in the state of Florida and number three in the whole United States of America. And we are very proud today to bring you this brand new model from Road Trek. It's a 2022 Road Trek Play SRT. People are like, what does SRT stand for? I don't really know, but I think it stands for short because this is a short, Dodge Promaster, so maybe they took out the H and the O and kind of combined some letters together, but it's 19 feet long, it's a Dodge Promaster, it is made by Road Trek. So Road Trek was a pioneer in the Class B space 30 or 40 years ago. They've been making Class Bs ever since. They had a little hiccup in about 2017, 18, something like that, but they are back at it. They are stronger than ever, offering a great two-year warranty, and this is this is their entry level, entry level class BRV, 19 feet on a Dodge Promaster, a Road Trek Play. It is a great RV to get started if you've never had RVs. If you don't like all the new technology and all the lithium and all that, if you want something that is simple, ready to go, not a lot of thinking behind it, the Play SRT is the perfect class B for you. So I love this thing. This is our first one I've ever seen. I got in it the other day and I was like, this is awesome. People are gonna love it, I loved it. And I know as you watch this video, I'm gonna go through the inside, go through the outside, show you the whole RV. I think you're gonna love it as well. So walk with me inside of it. So before we jump into coach, I wanna show you a few things on the outside. Because really when you're in an RV, especially a smaller RV, a lot of what you're gonna do is hang out outside the RV. So the RV gets you where you wanna go and then it gives you a bathroom, a fridge, and a somewhere to sleep. But really what you're doing this for is so you can enjoy nature. You can be outside checking out God's beautiful creation out here. So outside the RV is pretty impressive as well. You know, one thing I always mention to people are these big running boards. It's something that, that you don't think about when you're looking for an RV, but man, when you have a nice big running board, it does make it easier to get in and out. Um, I really like this screen. This is a Road Trek screen that, that they custom make for their RVs. It can easily roll up, it can stay down, it can open up for you to walk in. I also like how there's a Velcro here, so if you do have a pet, they, they, they can't easily break it and come out. I mean, a lot of pets can. I know my dog could have just run right out. But a lot of them, you know, if it's there, they're not gonna try to bulldoze through it. Um, but this is a Road Trek custom-made screen, which is great. There's also a blackout, so if you roll it down, it can be a blackout screen as well. As we keep walking, you see there is a carefree awning. This is a power awning, so you press a button, the awning comes out, there's a LED strip uh, on it, so that way you, you don't have to hang Christmas lights. Like when me and my family go camping, my wife enjoys hanging the Christmas lights from the awning. I say, honey, they have lights on them now. And she says it just brings back the nostalgia of hanging Christmas lights. So she enjoys that. You don't have to do it. There is an LED strip there, um, which is nice. So as we're walking around the back of it, you can see this is only 19 feet. So you are getting one of the short, these one of the shortest class B RVs on the market, which is what people really, really look for. I was in San Francisco the other day and I'm driving and I'm seeing a 19 foot RV parallel parked on the side of the road. I'm like, dude, this is awesome. People use these things in cities and mountains, by lakes, at beaches, anywhere you can imagine, people use these small RVs. So this one does have a tow hitch. It can tow up to like 3,500 pounds. Um, pretty cool here in the back. Uh, as I open these doors, you can really get a sense of they store the table back here, which is nice. You don't have to have it stored in the RV somewhere. It is stored back here. So nice and big. I'm giving you a sneak peek of what the inside looks like before we jump in there. But I wanted you to see there's a lot of storage back here. So you can store a lot of stuff. Road Trek does a good job of, of keeping that open. Something else pretty cool, you know, they custom make their screen door. They also custom make their back screen. And this is really cool for a number of reasons. So one reason, you don't have to store window shades somewhere. Um, a lot of people have window shades you have to put up and you have to go store them, you gotta find them, you gotta attach them. This is permanently here, this screen. So this can be a blackout screen like this. 
if you unzip it from the inside, it can also be a screen so you can see you can see where you're parked and what you're looking at. It's very easy to, to drop it just like that. So now, when that's dropped there, you have a, a see-through screen here to keep the bugs out. Um, and then also, I, I really like how they give you storage here. Uh, people store all types of stuff inside of this. So really good storage there as well. So it has the blackout, it has the, the mosquito bug net, and then it also has storage. So this screen serves as three different things which is pretty nice. As we keep walking, you will see that over here, you have your outside shower. So I love this little play logo here with the guy kind of jumping and playing. I thought that was pretty genius. That's why they, those designers get paid the big bucks. Um, this is an outside shower. So pretty unique. It has hot and cold water. Um, a lot of the ones just have cold water. I really like that this has hot water as well if you need it. But, and this is in a great location. It's not down really low. This is up higher. Some people like showering outside, just kind of rinsing off after they go to the beach. They can, you know, take a shower. Um, there's also a little thing here. So if you need to do something, you can mount it and use it. You can wash your feet, you can wash your dog. You know, my wife, whenever we cook, my, my 11 year old loves mac and cheese. He really doesn't eat much other than that. So the pot that you cook the mac and she'll bring the pot out here. She'll use it and she'll clean it out here rather than cleaning it in the, in the RV. So this is also a good place to do dishes. So lots of flexibility with having it up high here. You're not sitting on the ground trying to use it a lot. So really cool there. Also, people always ask me where, where the dump station is. The dump station is down there. So there is a um, macerator. So here's the macerator hoses down here. Um, there's also a backup uh, hose here. So it, or this is the connection here. So you hook the hose in there and you use it and then your macerator's in there. This is really easy to open and close. So now it's closed and then now it's open. So great little, great little area kind of hidden and tucked away to where you don't see it. But you know, as you keep walking, this is a 19 foot RV, you know, they don't give you any storage on the outside, but they do keep, keep it very simple. So now that you've seen the outside of it, I can't wait to jump inside the RV to show you the rest. Man, that's a big bathroom in there. <laughs> don't worry, I wasn't using it. I was making a point. I fit in this bathroom perfect. This bathroom has lots of space, lots of room. There's a sink, a mirror, tons of space. This is the Play SRT. This is a 19 foot Dodge Promaster chassis. And the bathroom's huge. The inside, you feel, it feels big in here. I mean, there's lots of space in the kitchen, lots of space when you walk in the big door, lots of space in the bathroom. The Play SRT, the Play, the Zion, the Zion SRT, they're all the same size. And you can see the bathroom's the same size, the kitchen, the, the fridge, the storage, all of this stuff, same size. The Play SRT just kind of brings it, brings it down a notch, makes it a little uh, more simple, easier to use, and more affordable. So that's the, really what they were shooting for, is like a new RVer, someone who's entry, brand new to the market, wants to try it, wants to see what they like, what they don't like, how they're gonna use it, and this is made for them. This is a phenomenal RV for the size and the price. Um, lots of storage, so you have this this area here. This is a, a big, um, oh, it's hard to lift up. This is a big cutting board thing. So you have this there, and then you have this. It's pretty cool, I just saw this. It comes with like a real butcher block. Like, that's the real deal. This, I mean, you, you can kill somebody with this, you know, so fight somebody off with it. But very neat, covers the sink. So if you are cooking, the stove is covered, the sink is covered, and this extra little thing right here, what do you call this, like a stove top extension. Um, there is a 12 volt, a USB, and a 110 plug right here. So if you do have a coffee pot, a Keurig, an Instapot, um, anything you can put here, you can use right here. So very nice. The screen here does come down to be a screen, so if you wanna cook with this door open and just have the screen, you can do that. If you need blackout shades for this, which you will at night when you sleep, the blackout shades are here as well. You're not having to store it somewhere and fumble around looking for it at nighttime. It's all right here built into the Road Trek shade, so that's very nice. Um, as we look up here, uh, there is a battery disconnect, there's an inverter plug, your power awning, and your tank sensors. All of that is very easily accessible and located and easy to read as well. Um, something I like about the Road Treks is each light is individual. So people really like that. 
Um, there's a power uh, max fan right here. As we're walking through, still lots of space. This is a, um, a, uh, like a pantry, uh, a spice rack, uh, bowls of cereal. You can put some flip flops in here. You can put uh, loaves of bread right here. You can put, um, I don't even know, all kinds of stuff. I mean, it doesn't have to be food. If you don't eat in these things much, people look at this and say, why do I need this much room for all my spices? You don't. You can fold your clothes up and put them here. You can put paper rolls of paper towels. I bet you can fit four rolls of paper towels right here. So lots of things you can do with this big storage thing here. Something else that people love about this Road Trek floor plan is this big, huge drawer. So this is huge. This is what they call a pots and pans drawer. But there again, if you're not cooking in your Road Trek, why do you need a pots and pans drawer? You don't. You can put anything in the world in this drawer. It is huge. And one thing I really like is when it's locked, it doesn't slide open. So it does stay locked. Nice big thing. You know, for years, everybody had a fridge in their Class B and it was on the ground under the counter. So they'd have to reach down, get on their hands and knees, go into the fridge, go all the way in the back. You don't have to do that anymore. You know why? Road Trek elevated the fridge. They lifted it off the ground, put it up high. They got their freezer on top, the fridge right here. This is a great two-door fridge. So you got tons of shelves here, lots of door space here, and then you go in a freezer. I can't even imagine how much ice cream I can put in there. I can't even imagine. I can eat for days. So this is a really, that's actually like freezing, but it actually feels really good right now. It's a little warm in here. This feels really good. But nice big two-door fridge. Um, as we're walking, we see we have a microwave. We have storage here. We have store a big drawer here. So lots, there's a 110 plug there, 110 plug there. There's plugs and stuff everywhere. Um, as, as we're walking through, more storage here. So this is what they call their wardrobe. This does have a rack, uh, like a, um, a hanging thing, hanging rod inside of it. Um, and so you can hang clothes up. If you don't have anything to hang up, don't worry about it. Fill it with other stuff. You can put shelves in there. You can put anything you want. So lots of, uh, lots of storage there. So this play does come with AGM batteries. It comes with an underhood generator and it comes solar ready. So there's not currently a solar panel, but it is ready with a plug to put solar up there. The AGM batteries, I mean, the lights are all on right now with AGM batteries. The fan will turn on with your AGM batteries. If you wanna use your microwave or this air conditioner right here, you have to turn the engine on. So once you turn the engine on, you can use all that because it does have the underhood generator. You know, Road Trek really made that underhood generator a staple in all of these Class Bs to get rid of that big, loud Odan generator. They use the underhood generator and that powers everything in the coach. So it is great. Um, this has the power folding sofa. So nice, big, comfy sofa here. There are two windows here for cross ventilation. So as I'm sweating, I sit here and I feel a little breeze. So I'm gonna sit here for, for a little bit if you guys don't mind. Um, very comfortable. This is a uh, power folding couch. The button for it is right here. And then we can watch it fold and then I'll lay in the bed. People like to see how they're gonna fit, what they're gonna do. And this is very easy to fit in here. So this bed here, you will wanna sleep left to right, just like this. And so this, I'm six foot tall. I fit perfect. You can have two people in here. You can put the, this cushion can go right here and, and it gives you lots of space so really cool bed situation there lift it up you press a button and it folds right up as well you know this is a fabric type bed and you know it's funny because the higher end models come with leather right like a zion zion srt people really prefer fabric because they don't slide around as much they say when they're sleeping but this is this feels really nice i mean nice cushions so these these are the cushions that that go right here to make this into a, a big, almost like a queen size bed, I would say. So something like that. There are seat belts, so there's a seat belt there. There's a nice seat belt. So these are real seat belts. These are not just lap belts. Um, most of the other ones just have a lap belt. This is a real three-point harness seat belt. So you can have five seat belts in here. Not only two people can sleep. You can fit a little kid up front with the mattress they have, but five seat belts in here, sleeping for three, um, lots of space, you know, I really like propping my feet up, um, watching, there's not a TV now, but we're happy to install a TV for you on either side. Um, 
I like propping my feet up, hanging out, watching TV, uh, sitting back here, hanging out. So this is a great bedroom area here. And I think that that as, as you kind of walk through this night, I mean, there again, my wife's SUV is 18 feet, three inches. This RV is 19 feet, six inches, I think. This is a foot longer than a regular SUV. And you have a shower and a toilet and a fridge and a microwave and a stove and a bed. I mean, and an awning, all in 19 feet, six inches. Like crazy, I mean, crazy how they can fit all of this in this van, get you 20 miles a gallon, V6 engine. So lots of cool space. Um, there's, he's in the show, there's there's some, some graphics we're gonna put on the screen that show all the tank capacities, that show all of the towing capacities, all the lengths, all the widths, everything on there. And it's it's amazing how much stuff they can put in this 19 foot ProMaster. So really, really excited about this Play SRT. This is the new model. Rocha came out with this in 2022. This is the first one we've got. We're real excited about the price point, real excited about um, how, how this is a great entry level RV for someone who's starting off. So Sunshine State RVs, we deliver free anywhere in the country. No matter where you live, what you do, we will deliver this thing to your front door um, anywhere you are. We, uh, if you do want to come to Gainesville, we will fly you here, we will put you up, we will pick you up at the airport, put you up in a hotel, teach you how to use it, and then put you up in a campground. So that way you can actually use it before you leave and drive back home. So that's a great option as well. We have people, I'm not exaggerating, flying from all over the country. I mean, we, we're the number three dealer in the whole country. So people fly in from all over the country and they buy these from us. So pretty amazing that people know who we are because of these vans. But yes, we're happy to make any, uh, make any scenario work for you no matter where you're at. So check out our other videos, check out this Play SRT on our website, Sunshine State RVs, or here on YouTube. Hey, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching all our videos and uh, all the support love you guys show us. Thank you.